So today's topic is carbohydrate binding proteins. So protein carbohydrate interactions, uh, they are intermolecular and intramolecular interactions between the proteins and carbohydrate moieties, right? So uh, several carbohydrate molecules, they uh, act as recognition elements and uh, they are specifically recognized by the other biomolecules such as some proteins. So there are special class of proteins uh, which are known as lectins which recognize the uh, these carbohydrate molecules which are expressed on the surface of uh, so-called glycoproteins. So, uh, what are glycoproteins? Uh, glycoproteins are nothing but combination of uh, glycans or you can say oligosaccharide uh, or sugar multiple sugar units and a protein. So this protein actually expresses or allows the attachment of a sugar moiety onto its surface and together this unit is known as glycoprotein. So these glycoproteins are important for cell to cell interactions as these glycoproteins uh, or these sugars on the glycoproteins are actually recognized by special proteins which are known as lectins of the viruses and also in some cases uh, uh, bacteria and lymphocytes as well. So lectins are important mediators of cell to cell interactions. So for example uh, the glycoproteins uh, which are expressed on the surface of uh, one cell uh, are recognized these sugar molecules uh, or the glycans uh, expressed on these uh, glycoproteins uh, of the one cell are recognized by the lectin proteins which are present on the surface of other cells. So in this way uh, this cell 1 and cell 2 they can interact with each other with the help of these lectin proteins. A lectin protein uh, usually contains two or more binding sites and may have uh, multiple binding sites if they form oligomeric structures right? and often these uh, 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 lectin to glycoprotein interactions they they are weak in nature uh, but there can be several interactions on a cell surface right so this uh, several weak interactions they come together to form a stronger interaction uh, and this type of uh, interaction is uh, uh, resembling with the action of a uh, velcro where several uh, weak interactions come together uh, but form a stronger composite uh, together. So this type of interaction is very important in cell to cell interaction. So there are several uh, classes of lectin proteins uh, which uh, are divided based upon their uh, amino acid sequences or uh, biochemical properties. One of the largest uh, class of uh, lectin proteins is C type lectin proteins. Uh, and C is uh, given by the name because they need a calcium ion for their function and uh, generally these are found in animals. Although these uh, lectins are ubiquitously found in a uh, variety of organisms. C-type lectins uh, have a common domain of 115 to 130 amino acids uh, which is responsible for carbohydrate binding. This domain is called as carbohydrate recognition domain, right? So this is a one example of a carbohydrate uh, uh, recognition domain, and uh, this carbohydrate recognition domain allows uh, one uh, calcium atom, which is bound to this domain, and this calcium atom is actually bound with the amino acids. Uh, of these proteins, for example, two glutamic acids in this case uh, through non covalent interactions. So, this calcium atom is also important for, uh, uh, for having non covalent interactions with this uh, sugar molecule here, and this also form a non covalent interactions. So, the sugar in this case is mannose, and also there are some direct interactions between these amino acids and this mannose sugar here uh, which are hydrogen bond interactions between these amino acid chains and hydroxyl group of this sugar molecule. 
so this type of uh, amino acids which are uh, interacting with the incoming sugar molecule is uh, you know uh, is giving specificity to, to the type of lectin protein right so uh, the changes in amino acid residues uh, in this crd domain gives specificity to the particular lectin protein in recognizing certain type of carbohydrate molecules so next is selectins so selectins are members of a c type family of proteins right? and uh, they also are calcium dependent and selectins are related to the immune system of our body right and there are different type of selectins like uh, selectin l e and p type and this is uh, given uh, these names are given because uh, these selectins can bind to uh, the carbohydrates on the lymph lymph node vessels uh, endothelium or activated platelet cells on the uh, in the human body one common thing in this uh, different type of uh, uh, selectins is the c type uh, lectin domain so you can see this red color domain is common in all the selectins however there are some changes in the consensus repeats which can be smaller in uh, l selectins and uh, can be longer in p selectins however the c type lectin domain is uh, the common uh, part in all the selectin proteins so here is an example of uh, lectin mediated cell to cell interactions so this example is about uh, the role of lectin ligand interactions in lymphocyte movement to the site of an infection or injury so here uh, in this figure uh, site of inflammation is represented and uh, this is the blood vessel through which the blood is flowing and there are uh, these cells which are known as lymphocytes which are freely uh, available in the blood stream and these lymphocytes they express something called as glycoprotein and this glycoprotein is acting as a ligand for a p selectin or a type of lectin protein which are actually expressed on the surface of these capillary endothelial cells so here is the p selectin so this glycoprotein of uh, the lymphocytes actually can come and bind with the endothelial cell p selectin proteins and allows the attachment of these lymphocytes onto the surface of these endothelial cells and this uh, is followed by rolling uh, action and adhesion events of these lymphocytes onto the capillary endothelial cells and this way this lymphocytes are actually transported to the site of inflammation uh, where ultimately uh, it reaches to the site of uh, site of inflammation through the process of extravasation so that's it that is how these glycoproteins and this p selectin uh, protein or lectin uh, lectin protein interactions they allow interactions of these two cells and uh, uh, ultimately gives this function of transport of these lymphocytes to the site of inflammation one more important example of lectin mediated uh, cell to cell interaction is the infection by influenza virus right? so viruses can bind to particular structures or receptors on the surfaces of host cells and these receptors uh, can be the carbohydrates for example in this uh, influenza virus case there are lectin proteins which are known as hemagglutinins so these hemagglutinins they recognize silic acid residues which are uh, expressed on the surface of these host cells so here is this uh, example of glycoprotein which has a silic acid residues uh, on it and this glycoprotein is actually recognized by the lectin protein of the virus which is known as hemagglutinin so this hemagglutinin uh, binds to this glycoprotein here and this interaction actually allows the entry of this virus into the host cell which leads to the normal 
virus multiplication uh, cycle of the influenza virus so this uh, lectin or hemagglutinin and salic acid uh, residues um, are very important for the interaction of pathogen with the host cell so these are some examples uh, of uh, lectin and uh, carbohydrate interactions and that this concludes the chapter